Hello, I'm Bruce Tiani, and uh, I'm here to do the water bottle drill to teach young kids and older kids how to throw a curveball the proper way. I have Darren Hetherington and Parker Dyson here with me to help. What is needed for this drill? You need uh, at least one empty water bottle, or as many as you want, and this will be used between you and your partner for throwing purposes to get visual feedback. You also need your partner. Uh, the partner plays a role as the teacher and the learner, and the partners are used to give visual feedback to uh, your other verbal and visual feedback with your partner. Um, the drill itself, uh, the partners will be on a knee about 10 feet apart. Uh, the students will then hold the water bottle long ways to, with two fingers up by the lid and a thumb underneath the bottle as like a pitcher would hold a curveball grip. Uh, the students will then go through the proper proper throwing motion and throw the bottle lightly to their partner and look for uh, look for up and down rotation, not side to side. And this drill will help the kids, when old enough, to learn a safe and effective curveball over time to prevent arm injury. Uh, what to look for, just like previously mentioned, uh, the bottle will show the tumbling over top continuously to their partner. And what you shouldn't see is what they call a helicopter motion. So you want to see over the top rotation and not, not like helicopter wings. Um, how much is the drill done? The drill is done, should be done daily after you're done with all your throwing. And it should be 15 to 20 repetitions per, per set. And again, you're looking for, you're looking for the over top rotation. Um, and that's how... That's basically said how to do the proper curveball. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take Darren and Parker and we're going to show them how to do it. So Darren will come on a knee over here. And Parker will be on a knee as well. And all they're going to do is take your two fingers up by the lid and your other one down underneath the bottle. And you're going to have your arms out in front of you holding the ball. And you're going to come down. And all you're going to do is whenever you throw it, make sure you're getting the tumble feeling. So Darren can go ahead and what, and what Darren did was throw it and had the helicopter. And what Parker should tell him is that, hey, you need to get more on top of the bottle and pull it through and get that tumbling feeling. So now what Parker's going to do, same exact thing, good. You're going to come down all the way and throw it through. Good. Parker got zero rotation, which is fine. So what you're going to do is you're going you're gonna to pull down from the lid. Good. So now Darren obviously did it right. Let's see if Parker can. Good. So what they're going to do is they're going to throw a couple back and forth, give each other visual feedback. Very bad. Now should you, should you follow through? More? Yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to follow through over top of your other knee. To make sure you're getting all the way out in front and getting as many rotations as you can. Good. So you're saying if you get the helicopter motion, you need to be more on top. Right. If you're getting if you're getting that helicopter motion around, you're getting more to the side and not getting any movement from it. You want to see the up and down tumbling. <laughs> so so Parker Parker seems to get it. Uh, Darren here seems to need a little bit more work. This is a drill that can be done with anybody. Once you, it's recommended once you get to high school that you start throwing a curveball. And you said that this should be done. This should be this should be done daily after you're done doing your throwing program or anything like that. Um, just to, just to get the visual learning on how uh, how a curveball is supposed to look. You can do this for a couple weeks before you get the baseball in your hand, and it should it should benefit you. So uh, that's, <clears throat> this is the bottle drill, and like we just said, it can be done every day when you're done throwing. Um, any, sort, any sort of questions or anything like that, 
Like I said, I'm Greg Stiani, and it's Stiani25 at Yahoo.com or grstiani at westliberty.edu. And a common question that they have, is the bottle drill safe uh, for my son to use? And the answer is yes, there is, because there's no forceful throwing being done with the bottle. And just because the baseball weighs so much, it doesn't put any stress on your elbow for a young kid to get hurt. And uh, like I said, any sort of question, just email me through Sakai or any other message form.